Hello everyone, my name is Brianna Bell and I'm a student coordinator with the STEP College Program here at UC Merced. Today I'd like to talk with you all about our program, STEP, which stands for Strengthening Talent and Exploring Pathways. Our program seeks to serve first-generation, low-income background students and students with disabilities. We are a group who services these students um, because we recognize the need that they have for um, academic support as well as just career exploration. So our three objectives are to provide that academic support by making sure that we host study sessions, making sure that we help them in preparing for an exam as well as preparing for any upcoming assignment. We want to make sure that they are they're prepared for that through, by having the necessary resources, whether it be scan palms, whether it be computer access, or um, much more. Um, in addition, we also want to have that mentorship. So we have student coordinators such as myself, as well as my other coworkers, who talk with our students on a regular basis about any issues that may arise, whether it be academic or within their personal lives. We want to make sure that they feel supported on campus and that their um, thoughts and opinions are being heard and that they feel that they're being heard. In addition, we want to make sure that we provide that career exploration or graduate school exploration. Um, our goal for our students is for them to have an accelerated um, graduation period or have an accelerated academic process, making sure that um, they can potentially graduate early or on time and making sure that they're staying on top of their studies. And by doing that, we have different events such as career roundtables or graduate school um, visits and making sure that our scholars know of these different opportunities and resources that are available to them um, once they've left UC Merced and graduated with their degree. And so next we're going to have a video from our program coordinator, Alexandra Chavez, explaining a little bit about the program um, as well as her own position. Hi there, my name is Alexandra Chavez and I'm the program coordinator of the STEP Scholars Program here at UC Merced. Thank you for your interest in our program. STEP is a TRIO student support service program designed to empower scholars that identify as first generation, low income, or as someone with a disability. As a member of the TRIO family, STEP is a part of a national network of college support and preparatory programs aimed at supporting marginalized communities meet their academic and professional goals. STEP's mission is to prepare our scholars at UC Merced to meet their goals so they can achieve good academic standing, a short time to graduation, and a foundation of financial literacy. Our program offers many services to help scholars along the way. Our program offers many services to help scholars graduate and plan for their future. STEP puts on events such as financial literacy workshops, study sessions, grad school seminars, socials, off-campus trips, career exploration, and much more. We also offer laptop rentals, scantrons, blue books, test preparation, book loans, and other academic materials. There is no cost to be in STEP. We simply ask our scholars to maintain active participation by completing their 321 requirements. The 321 requirements ensure scholars and STEP staff maintain active interactions throughout the year and encourage participation and community engagement within STEP. The 321 requirements ensure scholars and STEP staff maintain active interactions throughout the year and encourage community engagement within STEP. STEP scholars must attend three STEP hosted events, schedule and meet twice with STEP staff, and participate in one professional de development activity per semester. We offer alternative plans and accommodations should a scholar need them. To be eligible for a program, a scholar must be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident and either come from a low-income background, be first generation, or be a scholar with a registered disability. Prospective students can apply to our program on our website at step.ucmerced.com. STEP is here to help students succeed. If you have any questions, please email us at step at ucmerced.edu. We hope you consider joining us. Thank you. That was our video from our program coordinator, Alexandra Chavez, who's actually a double alumnus from Fresno State, where she received her master's in counseling. Um, and so she also was part of the Kappa Alpha Theta sorority. And so she's our wonderful program coordinator who started with us approximately a year and a half ago. And now we're looking to expand and also looking for new scholars. And so we will talk about that a little bit at the end of the video. And so I just want to say thank you to Alex. And so Alex did mention in her video about the three to one requirements is a way of staying active within the STEP scholars program. 
And so she did go into a breakdown of what that was. So we do ask our scholars to attend three step events or events that also meet our program objectives of academic, um, of academic success, career and graduate school exploration, as well as financial literacy um, and mentorship. We do ask that you um, attend at least three events in order to make sure that you're staying active with the program, as well as making sure that you're putting your academics as well as your just goal um, first. We also ask you to attend two meetings, one with the program coordinator and one with us as a student coordinator. And that's just our way of keeping connected with you to make sure that if there are any issues, you're voicing them and that you have that time period to meet with us and to speak with us. And um, we are very open. Our schedules can be found on our STEP website, which is step.ucmyced.edu. Um, and you can go ahead and schedule an appointment with us or as well as contact us via email. And lastly, we also ask that you meet with a career counselor. Um, Going to UC Merced is very temporary. After um, some point, you do have to be able to move on into a career or to a, um, a goal or a, a field that you want to go into. And so we do ask that you meet with a career counselor in order to start that process of getting an understanding of what it is that you might want to do if, you do, if you're not sure yet, or if you are sure, what are the necessary steps to take in order to get there. And so what are some benefits of being a step scholar? But well, we do have field trips to regional academic conferences and cultural arts events. We have career professional interaction opportunities, individualized counseling and peer advising, financial literacy skills and building workshop loan programs. And then also there's a lot more such as laptops, clickers, headphones um, that you're able to rent or, I'm sorry, not to rent, to borrow from our program, as well as Kaplan practice exam, um, exam books to help study for graduate school programs. And so to speak a little bit about the field trips, in the past we've gone to places such as the, such as UC Davis Medical School, or even going to different cultural arts events such as uh, Rogers um, Cinderella Hammer Time. Um, and so we did take scholars to these types of events. That way they can stay in touch with academics. They can have exposure to academic related programs, or as well as to have um, a connection to their cultural or to very community oriented back, um, programs. In addition, career professional inter interaction opportunities. Like I mentioned before, we do have professional career roundtables, but we invite different um, professionals of different fields to our campus and speak to our students about what it is that they do, um, how their college journey went, and what process did they take, as well as what their day to day schedules look like. And as mentioned before, we do have individualized counseling and peer advising. This is where our student coordinators meet with our, our scholars just to make sure that you're being able to speak with someone as well as you have someone of the same age group with you that you can confide in and possibly speak to as an advocate or speak for as a resource. In addition, we do have financial literacy and skills building workshop. We do wanna make sure that our students are successful. College can be a very stressful time financially and therefore we wanna make sure that you have the necessary programs to help uh, with saving as well as preparing yourself with like taxes for after you've graduated and you have to face these different life experiences. So we want to make sure that our scholars have the resources and the knowledge on how to manage that as well as how to operate. And the laptops, clickers, and headphones, we do want to make sure our scholars do not have to pay too much being that it can be a stressful time um, to attend a college. It can be very financially um, kind of kind of financially stressful. And so we wanna make sure that these different resources are here for you, free of charge, that I'm free to use. Um, these resources are solely for our scholars, so you do have to be a scholar within the STEP scholars program to access these resources. However, if you have a very um, serious circumstance, we can refer you to other resources around the campus if you happen to not be a STEP scholar. And so I just want to talk about what the eligibility requirements are in order to become a scholar in our program. We want to ask that you be a U.S. citizen or a permit resident. Um, we ask that you're also a first generation and or low income and or have a document disability. If you have one of those three, uh, in addition to being a U.S. citizen or permanent resident, then you are eligible to be um, a step scholar within our program. Um, our program is set forth by a federal TRIO program, SSS, which is Student Support Services which is why we have to have these specific requirements in order to be active or in order to become a part of our program. 
And so today we do have our application open in order to be a STEP scholar. Um, the application can be found on our website, which is step.ucmerced.edu. Or if you want to just go straight to the website, it will be step.ucmerced.edu slash apply. And so applying for a scholar, you'll be able to receive all the benefits listed in this video. And I really hope that you do apply because we're always looking for more scholars to help. And even if you um, do not apply, our, our workshops and webinars are online and available for anyone to watch and view. Um, however, you just won't be able to have those actual in-person or those hard benefits that we do offer for our scholars. But we definitely encourage everyone to become active within STEP. We want to make sure that we're being able to be an advocate and be a voice for all students. Um, being that majority of the UC Merced community is first generation and low income, we want to make sure that we are a resource for all of our students here at UC Merced. And so if you do have any questions, please contact us. Um, we have our social media accounts for Twitter um, and Instagram. It is at UCM Step. And then for Facebook, you can type in UC Merced Step Scholars Program. Um, we are here to have, answer any and all questions that you may have. Um, we also have a phone number and email listed here. And if you would also like to check out our videos and previous webinars, um, our YouTube channel link is found right there um, at the bottom right corner. Um, so should you have any questions, please feel free to contact, contact us and we are more than happy. I want to thank you all for tuning in for this video and I hope that you all have a really nice day.